Welcome to last and survival. So we have gotten a brand new update season 44 update lots of things have lots of things have changed So let's begin from the survivors path. So first of all acts are gone. We no longer have act one We don't have act two act three apparently is never coming out So act four and act five that were planned for the future. They're gone. That's it. They have disappeared We no longer have them, but instead of that stuff we have the survivors path So this update was heavily focused on the newcomers and the newcomers experience and I kind of agree because acts were they were all right definitely acts were introducing the game to beginners but I think acts could have been done a little bit better and there we go we have gotten the survivor's path I haven't explored it yet it looks like if you have progressed a lot through your acts you don't really have to redo the survivor's path all you have to do is just take all of the rewards I still haven't claimed all of these rewards here but yeah I'm probably gonna be starting a new account just to see how it's like to progress through the survivor's path and these are the rewards if you haven't seen them yet so you can get here a few bandages a few Yo, melee weapons, a doggo, you can get more melee weapons, a blueprint, uh, some shotguns, you can get some universal stripes to upgrade some of your mercenaries. And yeah, then you can get a VSS, 21st aid kits. And these rewards are kind of all right, but it doesn't really look like we have a lot of these rewards. I feel like we had more rewards inside of those acts, but hey, who knows? We'll have to check that out. And it looks like I still haven't finished everything yet here. I still can get 10 of these drone parts and this drone bl blueprint, but for that, I need to go to the transport hub. So that's the survivor's path. I think this is like probably the biggest part of the update. Also, we finally uh, have the Dragunov in the game and you might be like, well, Cyric, where do we get that Dragunov? Well, I'm glad that you asked you can get this Dragunov inside of the brand new season pass. So the season pass now is completely, well, not completely different. It is a little bit different now. We have kind of the same rewards all the way probably up to like whatever level. We still get like three of these basic weapon blueprints on level 11. I'm pretty sure on level 33, we should get is still three of these extremely rare weapon blueprints and I'm glad that they kept that so at least we can get that stuff. Sadly, we still don't get a free tactical backpack. You can only get it by the premium season pass. And uh, yeah, you can get some of these flight controllers now in the premium pass, which I guess is cool. But the worst part is that premium pass has like what doubled in price, which is another L. I, that's That's really bad. I wish it didn't double in price, but yeah, we do have more rewards now. It goes all the way up to level 80, and there you go, guys. At the very end, we have this Dragunov, the self-loading sniper rifle. And yeah, uh, this Dragunov, it looks like it's already going to have the sight times 8, and it does 136 damage, which is amazing. There we go, so we can get this weapon. From what I know, it's only going to be available in this season pass, so that is kind of sad as... I don't think we'll be able to find it anywhere else. Maybe in the future updates, we'll be able to find it somewhere else. Maybe it does have a lot of durability. I really hope that this Dragunov is like maybe double or maybe triple the durability of a normal weapon. Then maybe it makes a bit more sense. And yeah, we can also, whoops, uh, we can also get this uh, blueprint for the Dragunov. And pretty epic. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. I'm definitely going to try to... Pa uh, get to the end of the season pass just to be able to progress further just to be able to get that Dragunov and another another thing is that it's very simple to progress to the first few levels I think developers uh, said that I don't really know how many levels are easy to progress through but the the beginning of the season pass is extremely easy I've seen people say that they, they've just cleared the farm location and they were able to get like 10 or 15 or something levels so it is Pretty simple to progress uh, at the first few levels, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty difficult to get to level 80. But hey, we'll have to figure that stuff out. And that is not it. You might be like, sorry, do we have more updates? Yes, we have even more updates. So let's go over the change of seasons. We'll have more rewards and you'll require less points to get them at the beginning than before. That's just what I was talking about. We've introduced a target marker to make it more convenient for you to complete tasks. You definitely won't be lost now. I'm not really sure what they're talking about that, but I guess that's cool. We've changed the builder mode at the home location. It's now uh, as convenient as the one in the settlement. So I've already checked that stuff and check this out. So when we go to build things here, bam, we can now build these, found we already could build these foundations, but first of all, the icons now are completely different. I guess that's cool. But yeah, now we can go here. We can build rain catchers through this building mode. And we can see how many resources we have in the base. So we can just, let's say, if I want to build another rain catcher, I can just place it over here. I don't have to go into my building menu and search for, like, those rain catchers here and build them, like, that way. And another cool thing is that you can now place your uh, season rewards. So if you have stuff in your base like these things you'll be able to place them here as well through the building menu so i guess it was a really huge quality of life improvement so yeah that gets a w and i just saw something very interesting 
before I started the live stream. There we go. We can craft the transportation here and we have this helicopter and it says uh, the helicopter is coming soon. We have no idea when that stuff is coming soon, but I, the helicopter is still there. Maybe one day we will actually get that helicopter. And uh, there's another thing that I actually like to mention. So we have now a lot of little videos. So for example, I haven't finished building this drone upgrade workbench and we have this video showing what this thing is kind of about. I've seen some people sharing videos of ATV. Like if you haven't finished building your ATV, there'll be like a short little video in the ATV blueprint thing. So lots of other things. And uh, that is not it. We have even more changes here. So let's go through them. And changes also involve the farm, transport hub, and other locations. Certain blueprints, constructions, and weapon mods now require fewer resources. You can now find the recipes for bolts in the workbench. So let's quickly talk about the farm. We're going to start clearing the farm very soon because it was changed. So I think the farm changed for the better. Now, from what I've heard in on Discord, zombies there have a little bit less health. Maybe they do less damage or something like that. But now you have to far, find a key at that farm location. And then using that key, you can open up the barn all the time. That key is going to be guaranteed. And uh, yeah, you can open up that barn all the time. And inside of that barn, you'll be able to get that blue box. And it looks like we still have that chopper to get chopper parts. So now that barn will open up all the time. You won't have to, to rely on luck on RNG for that barn to open up. So it's a little bit better. Now that barn will always open up as you'll have to find that key to get the blue box from that barn. And yeah, uh, then we've made a number of technical adjustments and fixed some um, identified bugs. So now I can tell you guys that the game is smooth as it was lagging before when we played on ultra graphics it was lagging during the whole season 33 but now it works smooth at least for me so hey i'm glad with that and uh, do we have anything else there i'm sure we do so yeah it wouldn't be possible without your input thanks for being active in our games life and last and earth social media pages we re uh, we read all of it the project transforms and evolves thanks to you this time the update consists of planned and necessary changes that will affect the newcomers first and foremost so as i said this update is focused on the newcomers but the wishes of the game's veterans will be implemented in the following updates thank you for support and good luck on survival so it looks like this update was focused on the newcomers which i do agree uh, the newcomers are the ones that if the game starts getting new players, the game will die. That's it. <laughs> Let me keep it short and simple. So I'm glad that they're focusing on the newcomers because we have gotten some uh, updates dedicated to veterans, like to older players, like the transport hub, for example. We've gotten it quite recently, and now we've gotten a, an update for the newcomers, and it looks like we're going to get some other updates in the future for the veterans, which is great. And yeah, so what are your thoughts on this update so far? I think I've shown everything there is to show. That was literally the entire update. Now I can take a breath. And yeah, also I forgot to get the resources. I've seen some people in Discord complain about this update and I don't really know if I agree with that. Like there are definitely some things to complain about. Like the season pass, it's gotten a lot more expensive. I get it. We don't really get... I mean, we do get more rewards, but it's still not... Not a crazy amount of rewards. I don't know if the season pass is actually worth the price now. But hey, there's that. And uh, yeah, the acts are gone. But not a lot of people could finish act two anyways. I do know a lot of the viewers even here, like they, some of the people didn't even start doing acts. Some of the people haven't finished act two, so I get it. They were a bit too difficult and yeah, I kind of see why they have removed them. In any case, let's get all of these rewards because I still haven't taken all of that stuff. Wait, that's a lot of rewards. Wait, what happened here? Wait a minute. I am a little bit confused. I'm actually confused. How do I have that many resources when I wasn't supposed to get that many? Am I doing something wrong, ladies and gentlemen? Because check this out. I have gotten these stripes here. I can't see what rewards I get here. Check this out. I've claimed some of the rewards. Right? Look at this. Here we are supposed to get that DSS and only 21st aid kits, but it, oh, and plus eight more. Oh, I see it. I'm an idiot. I am an actual donut, so we get more rewards. It's not just these two rewards, okay? So I regret saying at the very beginning that we only get both of these rewards. Check this out. We only get a cleaver and these bandages, but plus we get some more rewards. So it's not only that. We are actually getting a lot of rewards in the survivor's path, so newcomers are going to be very happy. Like, uh, I'd be excited to get this stuff on my free-to-play account, which, as I said, I might start a new account and we will be getting all of these rewards here. Okay, that is huge. I didn't see the plus 36 and plus, like, other numbers. So yeah, we do get a lot of like basic resources and for beginners, it is going to be huge. 
like really huge. Plus, I'm not even talking about the premium here, but again, everything has to consist of that premium. So there you go. Now we have all of that stuff here in the inbox. Very, very great. And wait, is that it? No, I haven't done everything yet. We still need to go to the transport hub to be able to get the rest of these other rewards, I assume. And yeah, the premium here is also going to cost money, of course. Uh, of course. It's kind of weird that it lasts only for 30 days. What does that supposed to mean? I have no idea. In any case, that's not the main point. But yeah, I believe that this update is is a step in the right direction. We didn't get anything too huge, but we did get a new weapon. We did get some changes at the farm, which I'm about to go and explore. Also, the transport hub has changed, they say. So I want to go there and check that stuff out. Let's get a few flare guns to the farm location. Let's get a few melee weapons, and that is it. Let's get it. Uh, we're going to get perhaps a few guns. And hey, to those that have just joined the stream, welcome, welcome. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. And there you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a little bit quicker. So once again, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see all of you here. Let's get a few Glocks. We're definitely taking way too many weapons. But uh, better more than not enough, right? Let's get a few healing items. And uh, I actually want to make a poll here right now. Do you like this new update? Yes. No. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet. There we go, guys. There are three options. Make sure to vote. Make sure to vote, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have the first... Only a stack of first aid kits. Eh, whatever. You know what? Let's get a second one. This is definitely way too much for the swamp location. But whatever. Is this a dev build or a live update? It's a live update, guys. That said, the update is out already. I think it's out everywhere on iOS, on Android, on Huawei, or on whatever. It is out everywhere. Say, what about my smart fridge? You can probably play it on your smart fridge as well. I'm not sure, though. Has anybody tried playing Last on Earth in a smart fridge? Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, let's get the... Oh, there's another change I forgot to mention. So now we do get these empty canisters and uh, yeah I like their uh, their texture here it looks kind of cool but yeah now we'll be able to fuel up these empty canisters and if I'm not mistaken we can so yeah we no longer need those empty bottles we will be able to use these canisters which is great because I always thought that it's kind of stupid that those canisters just disappear goop in my opinion says full and break you think that the update is goop why is it goop I'd like to know why is it goop Uh, and yeah, there we go. You can recycle these empty fuel canisters and you can get like scrap metal, a little bit of iron and probably aluminum bars if you level up your other skills here. Uh, other recycling thing. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. So now we're going to store... We have more trash now, basically. Now I have to store these empty canisters. But whatever. Uh, let's get some of these things real quick. I just want to drop them. Where do I store these empty gasoline canisters? Well, I'll store that here for now. That is it. I think we are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just buckle up and let's go. New mods on Dragunov. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. We need to check out those new mods because we did get some new mods as well. We did get some new mods, ladies and gentlemen. The motel basement is also changed. Okay, we're going to be checking out the motel. You guys will be telling me everything that has changed and we will be checking everything out. Uh, can I see the mods from here? Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. There we go. Now we have this Dragunov over here and we have... Oh, wow. We have a lot of mods. We have the Extended Magazine, the Red Dot, the Sight Times 2, the Sight Times 3, Sight Times 4, Sight Times 5, Sight Times 6, Sight Times 8. Then we have Sight Times 10 and Sight Times 17, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of buggers. Then we have this Muzzle Break, another Muzzle Break, double Muzzle Break. Elite muzzle brake. We have the flash hider, improved flash hider. We have a silencer, a red laser, and a green laser. And we have at PL1, 2, a handle. Okay, aimed shot deals critical damage to the enemy. Okay, understandable. Then we have a handle. Then we have this bipod with this active ability. I don't really know if we have all of the blueprints for the Dragunov. Maybe. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. I'll maybe try to go to the police department and open up a few crates. 
if it's not reset yet or something. We'll see. And then we have a few tactical stocks. So that's a lot of things that... That's a lot of blueprints. And uh, I hope that there will be ways to get more Dragunovs because we have a lot of blueprints. And so far, from what I know, I think uh, they said in the patch notes that for now you can get Dragunovs in the season passes and you'll be able to get more of them in the following season passes. So that's it. I can only get one Dragunov in like 20 days. It's not really worth it to probably craft all of those blueprints, but hey, hopefully I am wrong and hopefully in the future we'll get more Dragunovs because as of right now, it's kind of weird. And also now we can craft bolts. I didn't show you that. We have our workbench and uh, looks like they've added an ability for us to craft these bolts using aluminum plates. One aluminum plate costs us two bolts and... I don't know. I'm kind of amazed that they added this recipe. If they added this recipe, that means there was a reason for it. But at the same time, I wouldn't trust that so much as we have this electronics lab and the electronics lab is kind of bad. So I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe now it's easier to get bolts. Like we already get bolts everywhere in like whatever location. Like bolts are already easy to get. And now we can get even more bolts. But... You know what? Whatever. They added another thing to the game, so I mean, I can't complain about that, right? Who cares about it? They added some more bolts for those who need bolts. They'll be able to craft those bolts. Those that don't want bolts, they won't have to craft them, and that's pretty much it. And Kevin Dowd, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome, Kevin Dowd. And uh, JWL, welcome to the stream. Uh, JWL says, let's go. Let's go, mate. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the support. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, now we're going to check out the Crooked Creek Farm. It also looks like the transport hub is a little bit different as well. I uh, want to go there and check that stuff out. And yeah, I don't really know what else has changed. You guys told me that the motel basement is also a little bit different. So we will be checking it out. Now let's go to the Crooked Creek Farm. And let's check all of that that stuff out just came what did they miss all the new changes that were added to the game so make sure to check out the beginning of the live stream if you haven't seen it yet and now yeah guys we're going to the farm location because it is a little bit different for those who do not know now you need to find here a key and with that key you'll be able to open up the barn and inside of that barn you can find a blue box and that is like guaranteed now so it's a lot easier except i'm not really sure where you find that key but yeah from what i know those keys are guaranteed and you'll always now be able to open up that barn which is great which is kind of cool. Do you forgot the drone? I didn't forget the drone as I'm not taking that drone. So yeah, my thoughts is that, yeah, this update gets my approval as... Why wouldn't it get my approval? It focuses on the newcomers. I'm kind of sad that they have removed those acts. But let's be honest here. Not a lot of people have finished the, the act too. Because first of all, maybe it was too difficult. Maybe it was pointless. Maybe people didn't rush through act two as they waited for act three. So there are a lot of reasons why some people haven't finished it. But I also believe a lot of people didn't even finish... Act uh, 1. So maybe there was a reason why devs have removed that stuff. I don't really know if I fully agree with that or I fully disagree that hey, they have removed or done anything about those acts. I'm just excited to see that hey, they're still developing the game and they're focusing on the newcomers, which is very important. As we've gotten the transport hub, which was the update for the, for the older players. But yeah, they say that, that we will get more updates for veterans in the in the future. Okay, I've also seen some people saying that now wall tricking is a little bit more difficult. So let's check that stuff out. They said that they kind of fixed the wall trick at the farm before you could wall trick these guys here uh, on at this door. Okay, so you can still wall trick them. I mean, uh, no, I see, I see what they mean. But they now they do a little bit less damage. They used to do how much? Forty-seven damage. Or something. Now they do a little bit less damage. So there's that. It is still possible to wall trick. It is a little bit more tricky. I I don't know why they want to fix that wall trick. It's 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 very it's very weird weird to me. I'd like to hear the reasoning why they want to fix this wall trick. It's not like everybody knows how to fix the wall trick. They have removed the season pass to make the game easier for everybody, and yet they're fixing the wall trick. It's not like everybody does wall trick. Like an average player doesn't even know what a wall trick is as most of the people don't even watch YouTube videos or anything. We got the key on the first thing. Opens the barn door into the Crooked Creek farm. That's great. Let's get it. Let's get that barn. So yeah, I don't know why they're trying to patch this wall trick. 
I mean, the wall trick is basically the only thing that keeps this game together. <laughs> so, hey, developers, if you're watching it, I'm telling you, the wall trick is basically the thing that keeps this game kind of together. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why they have to, like, keep actively fixing it. Some players don't like it. But what can I say? Okay. So, it is possible to still kind of wall trick, but, yeah, they made it a bit more difficult. You just have to be a little bit quicker, and maybe on mobile devices it's going to be more difficult. Maybe it's going to be easier. I don't know. In any case, I'm not too happy to see that wall trick is getting patched, as that's the only, like, skillful aspect of the game. Like, what, they expect you to just blast guns and that's it? Like, wall tricking was the only... thing that made this game at least a bit skillful. But hey, you don't really even have to fight these savage giants. Like, maybe I'm ca I can show you what you can do. You can actually leave this map, but is that really the thing? Is that what developers want you to do? Like, it's better to leave the map and not kill those savage giants at all? Is that actually better or worse? I don't know. I think that's actually worse than wall tricking, so... I don't know why they're trying to actively patch that wall trick. They say farm nerfed. Like, what, do we get worse resources at the farm or something? Okay, I just want to get back and I want to see those savage giants if they're still there. Okay. So, yeah, they are here. Can I sneak attack them? Okay, they are at full health. Well, and they saw me. Well, whatever. It is possible to wall trick them. But, uh... With these changes, it looks like they don't want you to wall trick. So, yeah, I kind of disagree on that. Not a lot of people knew how to wall trick. And those that knew how to wall trick... They liked it. In any case... Oh, wow. These raiders came out of nowhere. Now they don't have guns. That's a... That's a W in my opinion. That is a W. Wait, let's try to wall trick these raiders. Maybe I just got lucky and this time they have spawned without any... Anything. Okay, so yeah, it is pretty difficult to wall trick these raiders. But hey, now we can wall trick them. They even gave you a machete. I don't really know if that was a bug or a glitch that they didn't have any weapons. But that's it. It's a lot easier now to fight these guys. I agree. Plus you can get like two broken melee weapons. So, so far, like not... Not considering that wall trick, like, you didn't really have to wall trick a lot at the farm anyway, so I'm not gonna say that, oh, that's the worst change ever. That's definitely some... That's definitely something that they shouldn't have done. But, as I said, I, I, don't, I don't think we should bother too much about it. As, uh... It feels like this place is a little bit easier now. Wait, how much health did Savage Giants have before? They had 250 health. So now they do a lot less damage. Not 47, but just 20 damage. You can just, like, soak up <laughs> some damage if you feel like it. See, I don't mind that. What about the Ravager? Did I just actually call him Ravager, not Revenger? Where's the dude? Twice the price on the Season Pass. That's very sad. Yeah, I agree. The Season Passes are a bit more expensive. Again, I'm not planning to buy it anyways. And Revenger has only 500 health! They made the farm location a lot easier, so you know what? I think it's a W. Like, overall, it is a W. The only negative thing about the farm so far that I have to say is... They have removed... Uh, they made the wall tricking a little bit... Like, a lot more difficult. But... A lot of enemies have less health. So, it is a W. Which, again, not, it's not like Ravager was extremely difficult to kill, but now it's easier. You save more melee weapons, and if, for real now, raiders don't spawn here with guns and they just fight you, then this place is easier, and it does get my W. It gets my approval. I still don't know why they had to, like, patch that wall trick. I still kind of don't get it. It kind of baffles my mind. It baffles me, as it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so now we can use a key to open this thing up, as there is a lock. Okay, we will... Check it out very soon, ladies and gents. As we did find that key, so now we can find a guaranteed key in the... Whatever those, those things are called, the the sacks, right? You get keys in those sacks and those bags. It's a guaranteed key and you'll be able to open up that barn, which is also a W in my opinion. Because 
it was confusing to explain to people as to why the farm opens up, uh, as to why the farm opens up, to why it doesn't open up. It was a little bit confusing. You couldn't always open it up, but now it's always going to open up for sure as you have to find that key and inside of that barn, you will get the blue box. So there's that. Okay, now I was able to attack that savage giant. I was able to sneak attack it and uh, I didn't get a punch in return. That's interesting. Maybe because I used the katana. But yeah, I can't play my last and it is crashing. Well, hopefully it will be fixed. You'll find a solution to your problem. Check bunker alpha. I uh, will check it. First of all, we have some other things to check though. We still have these iron wires here. So yeah, so far I do like the changes in the farm location. And that's what I was talking about a few live streams ago that developers never update any old locations. So they release an update. It doesn't matter how people play there, if it's too difficult, too easy or whatever, they just don't care. They release an update and never change it. So I'm glad that they finally have changed the farm location. And I do believe that it's a step in the right direction. Like absolutely, it's definitely a great step. It is a lot easier. And yeah. Oh my goodness, can we wall trick it? See, it is still possible to wall trick it, but definitely more tricky and... Yeah, now the wall trick is really wall trick. With a capital T, wall trick. That's what it is. Okay, we did get here a hockey stick. We always could find like a random melee weapon there. The transport hub got harder because of the good loot. If they buff the transport hub again, it's, it's an L in my opinion. But whatever, I'm not really surprised. We never get a good update. They will always buff something. I don't see a reason why they had to buff that transport hub. It's not like you get insane loot there anyways. Like, even when you are extremely careful and you try to, like, clear that place carefully and everything. It's still not extremely amazing. I oh, know these have a shovel. This dude had a shovel. But hey, it's only one raider. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay, so at least they don't have guns. At least they have a melee weapon. Okay. And they didn't drop anything this time. Understandable. Have a nice day. So I want to loot if we have anything else inside of these bags. But yeah, guys, now to clear the farm location, I need to loot these bags all over the map. And one of those bags is going to have this barn key. Once you have the barn key, you can start opening up stuff. All right, let's open it up. That's it, it's time. Oh, that's it, there are no zombies even charging from here. Hmm. And there we go, here we can find that blue box. And here we can still loot that chopper. So that's another W. You will always get some guaranteed chopper parts, which is which is amazing, like seriously. It likes, all things considered, I think it's a huge W. The farm location needed these changes, and I'm glad they added those. It's not like they have completely changed the farm location. It's not like they changed the layout of it, but they made it a bit easier. The wall tricking is a bit more difficult, but it's not like you had to wall trick a lot here anyways. So, yeah. Okay, that's a lot of these guys. And they do only two damage. Before, they were doing more damage. I should have probably just killed all of these guys first before opening up this box. And I didn't really do that. I should have killed them first. I should have killed all of those clumps of zombies. And then I should have come here and opened up that box. So again, it wasn't like an efficient way to clear the farm location. But, uh, yeah. All right, so still, you don't really have to like kill these savage giants. You can just lure them all the way to the bottom. And once you lure them there, you can just run back up and open up that blue box. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, we have some space here. Okay, this thing we don't really need in this broken machete. It's cool that we get it there, but we kind of don't want it. I don't want it. This update is good. This update is definitely great. Again, it's not like it added a helicopter, but even if it had added a helicopter, how many of us would be able to build it? It would probably be very expensive, so people would still be upset about it. So I do believe that it's nice that they added something new to newcomers. That's, that's, that's huge. I like that. Okay, so let's see if the blue box has been nerfed or not. It hasn't. We have gotten a machete bone handle blueprint. 
not what I want, but okay. Plus an AK, some steel, some copper. I don't think they have changed the loot here. Unless I just got very lucky, but I don't think they have changed the loot. I think the loot has always been the same here. Yeah, it's the same. So yeah, the farm location gets my approval. It's it's a great update for the farm location. I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. It's We always get kind of the same loot there. Probably I got lucky as you don't always get steel and copper. Maybe now you can get it more often. Maybe more rare. I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's probably the same. I don't think they have changed the loot. But however... It's a, the farm location gets like a 9 out of 10 from me. The changes get 9 out of 10. Would have been 10 out of 10 if they hadn't made the wall trick e e more difficult. But yeah, I want to see the Dragunov in action. Well, to get the Dragunov, we need to get to level 80, ladies and gentlemen. That's where the Dragunov is located. And yeah, for those who do not know, it does 136 damage plus we get can get one Dragunov blueprint. So there's that. Okay, let's skedaddle from this place. And now we have the motel. You guys told me that the motel is a little bit different as well. The motel basement, perhaps? So there's that. All right, let's up here. So yeah, overall, I do believe that it's great that they focused on, on the newcomers here. Because no matter how many old players this game has, if it stops getting new players, that's it, the game is going to die. So they have to focus on the newcomers, and I agree, the farm location was a little bit weird. Like, quite recently, I've started that new free-to-play account, well, quite recently, maybe half a year ago. And uh, it's pretty weird to clear that farm location. It's not that difficult, but it wasn't worth it. Even with wall tricks and everything, it wasn't worth it to clear it. Now it's a lot better. Definitely a lot better. So let's see if the motel is different or only the basement. Maybe only the basement is different. 100 is the base damage on Dragunov. But you only get for now Dragunovs with blueprints. And it looks like you can only get them inside of season passes, which is also kind of lame. So I hope that maybe in the future, I don't know, we'll get more Dragunovs somewhere else. The transport hub could have those Dragunovs now. Why not? Okay, let's try to drop. Let's try to get this thing. Actually, nobody really even knows what's the base damage of that Dragunov. I mean, it's very OP. I think it's fair. It is very OP. Why is it very OP? It does 130 damage, right? It is OP, but it'll break very soon. Like, it'll kill a few zombies and then that's it. It'll be gone forever. Infinite durability, Dragunov. Okay. I mean, you can probably repair it at the... At the VAP thing, but it's not really fair. As uh, you can only repair it if you pay in the game. Which... It's kind of lame. Okay, let's deal with this guy. And let's get here our guaranteed grenade, if we still get it. Yes, indeed. So it looks like the motel is the same. Yeah, probably just the basement has changed, right? Only the basement. Let's get a hatchet to open this up. I mean, we have already, like, cleared uh, more than half of the basements. Uh, more than half of the... Motel. So let's just quickly go through it. Let's see what else it has to offer, and then let's go to the basement. Let's see the changes in the basement. Other than Crooked Creek Farm, uh, where can we find chopper parts inside of Bond Cry Alpha? Have they changed Bond Cry Alpha? Is it easier or more difficult to wall trick in Bond Cry Alpha, or has it stayed the same? They shouldn't touch Bond Cry Alpha. If they make wall tricking more difficult in Bond Cry Alpha, then. I don't know. They're shooting themselves in the foot. It's not like this game has a great like track record of being amazing, you know? They need to they need to release some great updates to to gain some trust, not to make things more difficult. But hey. Okay, so Bunker Alpha is still the same says Oren. Okay, great. They shouldn't touch Bunker Alpha. Because I'm not too mad about the farm location, as it doesn't really matter anyways. But 
but yeah, the day they nerf Bunker Alpha, the day they nerf wall shrinking in Bunker Alpha, it becomes almost pointless. You'll either have to use that grenade trick where you explode all of those zombies with a grenade, which is kind of silly, or you can just shoot those zombies. Sneak attack those frenzy giants and shoot them. Wait, I haven't looted everything yet. There's the room here. But yeah, so far from the things that I've seen, it's... I think it's an okay update for now. The farm gets my approval. The farm was always a weird location. Now it's a lot better. Okay, so that is it. We have looted the farm. I don't think we've gotten here anything new, anything different. Uh, the motel, I mean, not the farm. Now, let's go to the basement. As you guys told me, the basement is different. I'm curious what the change in that basement. Did they make it easier or more difficult? Because I wouldn't say that the basement was difficult. I would also wouldn't say that it was very easy. Sadly, I ran out of melee weapons. And let's have some melee weapons. Here, okay, we do have a lot of katanas, so let's use at least one. Then we're gonna hop there. Did they move those trees further apart? I don't know. Where do you get the parts to upgrade your guns? By recycling your guns? There are lots of parts. Like, which parts do you mean? Bolts? Factory parts? Carbon composites? You get that stuff from Bunker Bravo. By recycling guns. Okay, let's up in the motel. It's dumb to use frenzy uh, guns on frenzy giants. But yeah, guys, we still have the wall trick at Bunker Alpha. They still haven't removed it yet. Okay. We already had here a few zombies that I had to fight, no? So far, it's just empty. Is it normal? Excuse me? Bruh. Is it normal? Nope, not normal, they say. When you guys cleared the motel, did you have zombies here? Because I don't have anything. And I can't open it up. My thing is stuck here. And I can't do anything, apparently. I can't touch the computer. I can't open this up. And I don't know what else I can do here. Okay, so apparently it's bugged, right? Maybe. Probably. The story mode is bugged. What? The story mode? Uh, how about I re-enter this location? Let's see if something's going to change. Maybe... Maybe something's different. Maybe it's the same. Is the story mode reset or what? They said the story mode is gone. Is gone. We no longer have acts. We have the survivor's path. When is rust? Please tell me, says guest 666. Well, I don't know when there will be more rust, but there should be more rust someday in the future. Can't promise anything, but there will be more rust. They didn't remove wall trick. Everybody stops spamming. Guys, they did not remove wall trick. It still even works at the farm, except it's a bit more difficult. But everywhere else, the wall trick is still the same. But they are removing wall trick. Little by little. At first, at the transport hub, you could easily wall trick those bosses. They made it a lot more difficult. Now they have nerfed the wall trick at the farm. So little by little, they're uh, nerfing everything. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to open this thing as it has glitched for me. Well, well, well. Can't open it up, ladies and gentlemen. I can't do it. They buffed grass, Cyric. Oh, that's true. I've seen a comment from somebody saying that now instead of one grass, you get two grass. Which is huge. 
You might be like, psych, you're just kidding. No, I'm actually serious. If they have buffed grass, and if there's the same amount of grass on the map, and instead of one grass, you get two grass, it's huge. Like, it'll be a lot easier to build things. It'll be a lot easier to build bandages. You need a key. You don't need a key there. What is the thing below your screen? What do you mean below my screen? There's nothing there. Excuse me. It won't open until the next resets. Yeah, we'll have to wait until the next resets. Are the graphics lag issues fixed? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, no, I didn't check. Wait, could, we could have gotten probably some things in green zones. Whatever. Let's go to the pine bushes. Wait, what other things they have changed here? Changes also involve the farm transport hub in other locations. Certain blupl blueprints, constructions, and weapon mods now require fewer resources, which is great. But what other things have uh, changed? Bandages for days, I love it, says Kuro. Yes, indeed. Unless there are less grass, unless there's less grass on the map. Okay, guys, so let's pick up one grass. And we have gotten two plant fibers. Hell yeah, we still get probably three berries. Yep. Do we still get one stone? Yep. What about the trees? If we get still like one tree... Wait, how many trees we used to get? Three? Yeah, three pine logs. We're still probably going to get three stones then. So nothing different there. We still get two plant fibers though. Wait, we do get a lot more plant fibers, which is amazing. Because you needed probably that plant fiber to first of all power up the laboratory to even go there and clear it. To power up that bioreactor. So that's kind of huge. More fiber for the lab, says a master of uh, Lolicon. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. And plus, you have more fiber now to craft bandages. Which is huge. I think it's also a nice buff. Like, a very massive buff. Like, really a huge buff. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, maybe later I'll try to rank all the changes in the game. Uh, let's actually open up the notepad for now. Right? There we go, guys. We're gonna open it up. I'll save it as... Uh, uh, ranking changes. There we go. Oh, where is it? Boom. So there we go. The first change is... Better farm. A better farm location. The second change... Uh, 2x grass. Then the one at the very bottom is going to be... Uh, expensive season pass. Like, right? That's gonna be at the very end. I don't know which number that'll be. But yeah, that'll be at the very end. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious what other changes do we have here. Better farm location, double the grass. And then I'll try to rank those things. But hey, for now, these are the changes that we have. But yeah, I do like this thing. It, it's huge. Like, seriously, guys, it is huge. We can get much more grass. It's a lot easier to craft bandages because I always said that the biggest problem in this game, the it's, it's very difficult to get healing items. I always said that. In my every free-to-play account, I always struggled getting healing items as. You have to grind a lot to get those healing items. And now we can get more grass. So yeah, finally transforming that grass into pieces of cloth and then crafting bandages is easier. They say check the deer. Okay, we have to check the deer as well. It's uh, like so just letting some folks know that some tasks required by raiders are not spawning. For example... Uh, an example, I have a task to kill an alpha wolf and it hasn't spawned in over two weeks as Douglas. It is probably true. It's always been difficult to find those alpha wolves and other stuff. But I agree. Maybe that stuff has, bugged, has been bugged for a while now. But yeah. But it's been like that for a long time. It's always difficult to find those special enemies. It's always been a problem. Okay, let's get that deer. Are they buff? Wait, we got three meat and one animal rawhide. Has it always been like that or no? We were getting only two pieces of meat, or only one piece of meat. Do we get more meat from deer or not? We got three pieces of meat. We were definitely not getting three pieces of meat. It was two pieces or one piece of meat. I don't remember. I think it was two. Or only one. It was only one meat. Okay, so more meat from the deer. That's huge. That is huge. There you go, guys. Another thing that we need. Three, three, three times the meat. Three X the meat 
from the deer. There we go. That's a... Uh, that's huge. Both of these things are huge. I both... Yeah, both of these things are huge for newcomers. That's amazing. That is amazing. Like, uh, getting healing items is a lot better. Is a lot better. Look at this. We've gotten almost like two stacks of grass just like that. Just from this green location without even trying. Is it also three pieces of chicken? Did I get any turkeys in that location? I don't even know. Healing items are now easy to grind. Well, I wouldn't say that they're easy to grind. It's it's easier. Like, it was always difficult to grind those healing items. I never agreed uh, with the... Uh, I never liked that we had to grind a lot to get those healing items. It was easy to get melee weapons. It was easy to get guns, but, like, it was always difficult to get healing items. Now it's a little bit more... It's a lot easier. So I like it. This was a huge W for new and mid-level players. It's, it's, it's a huge update, I agree. It's a huge W. What else has changed? I want to see if we have any other enemies. I want to kind of check it out. So yeah, this is huge. Unless developers come out and say, oh, that was actually a bug. If it's a bug, then they should keep it. As it's huge, I really agree with this change. It's amazing. It is actually huge. Oh no, there's the alpha wolf. Somebody just said that they can't find an alpha wolf. <laughs> I just found it. My luck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I wish I could send that alpha wolf to your base so that you could kill it and get that raider task. Yeah, they, they should also update the raiders. Now, next thing should be updating the raider tasks as some of the tasks are just stupid. Now we can only watch 10 ads per day. Sad says bingo. So yeah, I've seen some people complain about that on Discord, which is, which is weird. When those ads came out, there were people complaining about those ads. Then... Now you can skip things with ads, but you can only skip 10 things with ads. But... There was always a limit on how many things you could watch, right? I've seen a lot of people say that you can't infinitely skip things. I think even before it was just 10, but we couldn't see the 10 out of 10 number. Now you can just see how many ads you can watch a day and that's it. I think it's always kind of been like that. I think the first day when it came out, you could probably watch infinite ads. Well, the zombie just spawned out of nowhere. But yeah, after a day, they patched it and you could only watch like a limited amount of ads. So it wasn't always guaranteed. It wasn't, it's not like you could watch infinite ads. That's what I'm saying. Except now you can see the numbers, I guess. If you die at base, you lose your items from your inventory, they say. It says Toasty. We're going to check it out. If that's true, that's... That's huge. Okay, nothing here. Okay, let's kill one more deer. Oh, there was a turkey. I want to kill that turkey. Did I shoot it? I did because I was searching for turkeys here and we were talking about something. And the turkey has only one turkey. Okay, so we don't get more turkeys. We still get the same amount of turkeys. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Okay, so let's skedaddle from here. Dude, I love grass. It's gonna be amazing. Now, let's get back to the base. And let's sort of die. Some of you are saying that you lose your bodies if you die. Also, I have an important thing to say. People keep storing their loot in their dead bodies. Stop doing that. I don't know who tells you to do that. Which is whatever. Like, that's a tip and trick that some people use, right? It's a maybe nice tip and trick if it worked. But almost every update, those bodies disappear. Like, I've seen a lot of people complain on Discord that their dead body where they stored loot disappeared. So some people, let's say, die. Let's say you can die at the base and then store loot. Or you can die in Bunker Alpha and you can keep your dead body as storage. But sometimes, during some sort of updates, those dead bodies disappear. It is a great tip and trick when it works. But it does disappear. But your loot does disappear. So, guys, don't do this. Developers never encouraged anyone to store loot in those dead bodies. So guys, don't store loot in those dead bodies as it will disappear. Maybe not now, maybe in a year, but it will disappear. As I've seen a lot of people complain about it. That their loot has disappeared from those dead bodies. But whatever, guys. I'm just a messenger. You can do what you want. If you still want to keep the dead bodies, you can do whatever you want. Maybe it's worth it to keep it. Maybe then just take the loot before you update the game. Maybe try to pick wood. I tried picking up wood. You don't really get more stuff there. Okay, guys, so I quickly need to sort out the inventory. Then let's let's try to die at the base and let's see if my body actually despawns or that was just false news. Uh, let's send this doggo to the doggo crate. Okay, we did get a lot of grass, which is great, but that was just a test. I'm actually excited to, to, to play on my free-to-play account now. Getting healing items is better than ever. Um, try to pick stone. I tried picking stone. We get nothing. We still get only one. So they have buffed. 
the deer. Which is great. Um, we need to drop this stuff. I need more space to store these healing items, but nothing fits. My body storage disappeared with the update. Luckily, it was just a few stacks of ropes and empty cans, says Edgar Friendly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, during those, during some updates, loot does disappear. It happens all the time. So, guys, I'm telling you, don't store loot in your dead bodies. As one day it will despawn. If you want to store something there, then probably store something not important. But if you lose, you won't. It won't matter. Some people maybe store their ATV transmission steel and other stuff, which is kind of crazy. Don't do that. Even developers discourage doing that. So there's that. Uh, let's drop it here. The flare guns and some other weapons. So guys, I apologize for taking here some time to, to sort out the inventory, but... I kind of don't want to lose this stuff. I mean, maybe... Whatever. Uh, this, and now steel and copper. Okay. That's decent. I mean, if I die, I'll lose all of this. Are we going to check it out? Do I have a spike trap? We can craft a spike trap and I can just die. And if I lose the SWAT armor in this backpack, I am ready to sacrifice that. Okay. Hopefully, I don't lose it, but if I lose it, I lose it. We already have like five or six racks of armor. So maybe those are just false news, so don't trust what you hear. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe the dead body despawn. Maybe they're talking about their dead bodies at the base. Uh, where are the traps? Uh, furniture, protective, and we have the spike traps. So yeah, let's now build these spike traps. It's a lot easier to build them. I like that. Okay, when you die, your body will be right at the bottom. The body yeah. disappeared. My friend died and he got his loot back. Yeah. My body died and he's went to get the loot back and his body disappeared. What? Okay, yeah. we'll see. Okay, so there you go. We died. So we could revive by watching an ad, but we could do that before. But whatever, let's try to revive just normally. We died here. And they say body spawns near the car. Yeah, so th that's probably what has changed. Now your dead body spawns near the car before it would spawn where you died. Now it spawns near the car. So that was probably fake news, guys. That's just false alarm, I guess. And where's my dead body? I don't have my dead body. Oh, it's all the way there at the very bottom. I don't know why they've done that. Maybe it's a glitch or not. But hey, guys, I have died up here. And my dead body is... Uh, all the way at the bottom. So we still have the loot, guys. We don't lose anything. So that's great. That's kind of... Fake news. Maybe some people didn't know that their bo dead body spawns all the way at the bottom. So now when you die at the base, your dead body will spawn here. So you don't lose loot. Okay, now we have another thing that we need to check out. We need to go to the transport hub. A lot of you told me that the transport hub is more difficult now. And I'd like to check it out. So we got some changes to the transport hub. Let's go. Grass three times more. You get two grass, not three three grass. You get only two grass. We get two two times more grass. We get three times more meat. Which is great. Okay, let's get a few Glocks. And Uzi, this stuff. A few shotguns. And I'll get a flare gun with that. That's definitely way too many items <laughs> to, to clear the transport up. Unless maybe it's more difficult now. So I'll better get more than not enough. All right. Transport mobs have more armor and do more damage. And don't forget to take the drone, says 90 Focus. I would have forgotten about that drone for sure. I can tell you that with certainty. Okay, let's upgrade the weapons. Let's also get some first aid kits. Bandages, as always. Food to not die out of hunger and thirst. Um, and another armor. Alrighty, now let's go to the transport hub. 
It's like weapon blueprints needs base need basic materials now. What? Do we have something? What has changed with basic materials? Can somebody explain to me? I don't understand that. I mean, for example, this cloud red dot side, it's still kind of expensive to assemble. I don't know. In any case, for those who still haven't seen it yet, guys, there we go. We have this Dragunov and we have a lot of blueprints for this Dragunov. So there's that. I still don't even know if all of these blueprints are in the game, but hey, there's that. So let's upgrade all of these mods. Let's go. Let's go to the transport hub. Let's see what's up. Oh, also, let's not forget about the drone. We need it. The Crooked Creek Farm is now updated. Yes, we have cleared it, and it's a great change. It's an amazing change. Now, it's a lot easier to clear the farm location. Now, wall chicken is a little bit more difficult, but you don't really have to wall trick at the farm location. And Savage Giants do twice less damage. They have less health. The Revenger, instead of 2,000 health, has only 500 health. So it's huge. The farm location gets my approval. They should add Dragunov in hard locations like Bravo Port and make them more worth it, says uh, Nilo Boker. Absolutely, that's that's genius. They should seriously add those Dragunov and Bunker Bravo, like a guaranteed Dragunov in each crate. Would that be too expensive? I don't... Probably not. Still wouldn't be too expensive. Why would that be too expensive? Can somebody explain that? You would get three Dragunov for clearing three floors. They probably don't have an insane amount of... Oh, I don't even know if I can clear the transport hub because it still says one day to reset it. No! I might not be able to clear it. In any case, we should be able to get Dragunovs inside of the laboratory, inside of the... Uh, inside of Bunker Bravo, at least. How powerful is the SVD? It does 136 damage. I don't have it yet. And guys, we've just cleared here a few locations and we are already at level 11. I think we are progressing a little bit faster to the season pass. Maybe. And yeah, the Dragunov does 136 damage. So there's that. Hmm. Transport hub is now like 40% tougher, says Jack. Yikes. Okay, so now we have to kill zombies. Okay, so it points us where to go. Is it reset? It's pointing me to this fast router. Okay, so I've already cleared it, obviously, so it's a little bit different. Okay, that doesn't count as examining the stashes. Alright, so the game is pointing us where to go, but... Yeah, my transport hub is not reset. So I can't really see anything. WRL update. I think it's a W update. It's definitely a good update. So yeah, we have to scan cargoes, but it can't do anything as the farm location, as uh, the transport hub has already been reset. So it can't do anything here right now. I should have just reset it. No, I can't check out the transport hub. I don't know how difficult it is. The sewer siren. Has anybody tried the sewers? Is it really different or not? Dragunov and airdrops. Wait, is that true or is that some fake news? Well, I can't do anything here, apparently. Whatever. They should nerve the toxic darter. Yeah, that thing is ridiculous. Absolutely. Should do like 20 damage instead of 40. It definitely does, does too much. Sewers haven't changed. It's like, check the description on the M16. Uh, I don't see anything here. Dragunovs and airdrops are rare. What do you mean they are rare? They just came out. How do you know that they are rare? How many airdrops have you gotten? What is the button next to the battle pass? So, yeah, so for those who haven't seen it yet, we have this new thing. Instead of the acts, we have the survivor's path. So yes, the survivor's path has a lot of rewards. You can even get like carbon composites, dude. You can get 10 carbon composites and 10 factory parts. 
which is cool. But yeah, now we no longer have Act, so we're probably never gonna get Act 3 and Act 4. Because they're gone, that's it. That's why we're not gonna get them. And, uh, okay, I have still one more crate to open up at the PD because it's still not fully reset yet. But let's go back to the base then, at least. Has anybody tried clearing laboratory? Is it still the same? Scars have been really quiet after the Juggernaut came out. Hmm. Hmm, new outfit in the shop. Uh, excuse me? Where's the store? Maybe it's a new outfit, I don't know. The lab is still the same. So yeah, the lab is the same and probably everything else is the same. Alrighty, then we have probably checked out most of the things. Okay, I wanna go and open up, I don't know, a blue crate? Perhaps a purple crate, guys. We could open up a purple crate to get some purple mods. Or I could open up a blue crate to open up to get some blue mods because we can get some mods for our Dragunovs. Do the lab. I would do the lab, but it takes like forever. It takes like an entire hour. Two hours to clear just one location, which is absurd in my opinion. What does no ads mean when you buy the Survivor's Path Premium? Well, you can watch 10 ads now to skip things. You won't have to watch those ads anymore. You can just click 10 times to skip. So it's kind of weird to, to say that there are no more ads. It's not like there were a lot of ads in the game anyways. Unless you were skipping things. But yeah. Uh, let's drop this. Now I can drop the drone. This is much better, I absolutely agree. Now, let's get... Skipping steel was nice. I mean, you can still skip. You can still skip. I can open up only one crate there, because I've only already opened up other... But I'm probably not gonna get anything, because the PD's not reset, so I'll still get the loot. I'm not gonna get any drug novels. Wait, is my bunker alpha reset, though? I wanna go there. Whatever, let's go to the... PD. Let's open up the blue crate and then let's go to bunker alpha. Sorry, look at the building mode. We've already checked the building mode. I mean, I can show it again for those who haven't seen it. Uh, but the building mode now is different as well. Now you we can build whatever through here. You don't have to go to your blueprints menu and build these things through the blueprint menu. So there's that. And yeah, you can also drop here. Where are they? Your decorations. Now, also, walls and other things here look a little bit different. They've changed some of the icons. And, yeah, now you can drop your decorations here as well without going to your chests. And, yeah, when you go to transport, there's that helicopter, and it says that it's coming soon. How soon? Nobody knows. Next year? In 10 years? Tomorrow? I don't know. Look at the floors. Yeah, the floors are also different. The things are different. What is the new button? What new button? My bunt crawl if I still resets in a day. Yikes, but well, I still can open up a few crates. Whatever, let's go to the Blackport PD. I feel like the zombies drop more loot now, like more rope. Because that's usually what they drop, just rope. Unless they drop more pieces of cloth, uh, pieces of cloth, then that's huge. I'm new to the game, why are you saving your orange coupons? Because you can open them up in Bunker Alpha. Your orange coupons. I love how you refer to them as orange coupons. Thank you. Because they are orange coupons. Your inventory sword button not added. Yeah, we still don't have the auto sword inventory button. So they could drop all the loot inside of the chests. Maybe one day we'll get it. Okay, so yeah, last time we've opened up the purple card. We've opened up some of these other things. How about I open this thing up? And uh, yeah, we've just gotten the Winchester blueprint just as I thought. Uh, speedy is not reset yet. We need to wait until it resets.
I'll go to Bunker Alpha. Might as well exchange some of these blueprints. Ooh, that's what we might do. Yes, indeed. Let's get that stuff. Then we have an insane amount of blueprints in the inbox. That's what we will do. That's how we'll try to get a few blueprints for the Dragunov. There we go. So you can have empty gas cans just like empty bottles. Yes, indeed. That's also true. Can I get a... Okay, we did get an airdrop. Somebody said that you can get a Dragunov from airdrops, which I don't believe that. Like, nobody has gotten a Dragunov from airdrops. That's it, guys. You're capping. Stop it. You, can, you can't get Dragunov blueprints from exchanging. Have you already tried that? We'll see. Six years of saving blueprints, finally worth it. Maybe. I mean, I'll try to go and get those blueprints. If I get nothing, I get nothing. Yes, I got 10 eggs Dragunov from airdrop, says Lazy Kazakh. Is that true or are you lying? Trader gives Dragunov, says Roar. Okay, guys, now you're pulling my leg. Or whatever they say, you pull my leg, you pull my finger, you pull my pinky. I don't know what you're pulling there, but you're pulling something. And you're lying to me. If I get here a Dragunov on my first try, that'll be huge. No, they're capping. I believe they're capping. There's no way you get a Dragunov inside of the airdrop. Look at this, guys. We got not a Dragunov. It's a machete. We just got a machete. Okay, do we get more stuff from the deer here as well? Yes, indeed. We get three meat from the deer instead of one. And now we get two pieces of grass instead of just one as well when we pick it up. So that's huge for those who still don't know that. Yes, I tried 60 blueprints as Diabolical. Yikes. Well, I'll try as well. We'll see. Guys, I have to go. I got a package. I gotta go. Sonic, you just disappeared! Yes, guys, it just disappeared. Package is far away. The delivery... Uh, delivery lady came and I got the... I got the package. That's it, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. What happened here? Who came here when I wasn't here? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth right now. I'm back. I ran like crazy. They say nothing happened, guys. You're lying. You're capping right now. The package of a Dragunov. Yes, guys. I got a Dragunov package. Okay, so I want to talk to this dealer. 
Maybe the dealer has something. Okay, so we can give him bandages and a first aid kit. Then we can get a box. There's no way we'll get a Dragunov inside of that box. That would be ridiculous. But hey. Uh, we got some weapon mod blueprints. Ooh, I will read those. And a first aid kit and bandages. I need more bandages, so let's go to the consumables. Or maybe I can just go to resources and get some pieces of cloth if I have any. There we go, we can craft a few more bandages. If you shoot Joe 100 times, you get a box of Dragunov. Okay. Okay, the guy says stop it. I almost ruined my deal here. Guys, I might be an idiot. But I'm not stupid. Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's get the weapon crate. Let's see what we got here. A Glock. That's great. Uh, pretty cool. Do we have more weapon crates inside of our inbox? Uh, aren't those boxes in the boxes crates? No, we just have contracts and... Uh, that is it. Well, we have an insane amount of blueprints that we will exchange now at Bunker Alpha, so let's just do it. Eat your mic for Dragunov. Oh. Okay, stop it. Don't encourage me. You're enabling me to do stupid things. I am a normal human being when I am not encouraged to do silly stuff. You guys all it's like, bite the microphone. It's like, go do this. It's like, say that and then I do it. Because I am a circus clown. What can I say? It is what it is. Seven bandages and one first aid kit for a Glock. It's not bad. I got a Dragunov from the airdrop. Guys, you're lying. You are lying. I'll go now on Last Dinner Discord and uh, I'll check it. I'll just type uh, airdrop, okay? I'll go here and I'll type airdrop. Has anybody shared anything? Uh, try cl airdrops, Crooked Creek Farm, airdrops, rest stops, nothing, nothing. Nobody mentioned anything about airdrops. I guess you're lying. You don't get Dragunovs from airdrops. That is it. You lied to me. Screenshot or it didn't happen exactly. Absolutely. I couldn't have said better myself. Screenshot it, guys, or it didn't happen. Okay, so now let's drop the guns. It's a troll. It is a troll. It's the same thing as people saying that they got an ATV transmission from Bunker or Bravo. I saw some people saying that, so I was like, maybe that is true, and till this day, I haven't gotten a single ATV transmission from Bunker Bravo. This... Oh no, I can't drop the thingies. Oh my goodness, the bandages don't fit! Unbelievable. Has anybody gone to the swamp location? Is it still the same, or is it different? Do I get more wood in the swamp location? Because that's the problem. I don't get enough wood. I want more wood in the swamp. That's all I'm asking for. I got a Dragunov from a toxic darter. 100% real. Alrighty. Alrighty. So yeah, overall, I think it's a decent update. So yeah, I had here... I've written down a few changes that they've added. See, so we have better farm location, double the grass, we get three times the meat from the deers. What else we have? Uh, more loot in the season pass. The season pass. There we go, and that's it. I don't know what else we have. What else do we get, guys, that's good? And, uh, yeah, you also guys told me that the 98 transport hub more difficult. So yeah, these are the negative changes. Whatever. Season pass is twice more expensive. Yeah, expensive season pass, I said that. Uh, season pass to X more expensive. Expensive. I don't have the autocorrect here. Expensive is with only one S. I can't spell, guys. I know how to spell. I might be stupid. That's it. That's fine. Uh, let's get the mods and let's exchange all of that stuff. I had these purple mods. 
Might as well just put them to good use. Oh my goodness, like, that's a lot of purple mods. That's a lot of mods indeed. So let's use them. Corgi can bring you a dragon of a day. Uh, speaking of corgis. I know you know that, but some people don't know that, so I'm going to show it to you guys. So you might be like, hey, Corgis can't bring Dragunov as well. Can't they? Are you sure about it? Where is that Corgi? I had that Corgi. Okay, there we go. So guys, we got the Corgi and check this out. Maybe the Corgis can't bring Dragunov as daily, but we can get a coin from it. Look at this dude. The dude's digging. The dude's digging. And we're gonna get a coin. Boom, we got one coin. We got one coin, ladies and gentlemen. That was huge. That was huge. Okay, let's put it back to the to the doggo crate. Just in case for those who haven't seen that ever. So there we go. Dragonov a day keeps raiders away. Yes, indeed. Uh, also, I'll need to probably maybe do a raid. Maybe I'll try doing a raid. I don't think they've changed anything in those raids. I think raids are still the same. But yeah. I wonder if you can get Dragunov from the Wheel of Fortune in the gas station VIP place. Says Lazy Kazak. Let's check it out. Do I even have VIP? I don't even know. Oh, we do have it. Okay. We can check it out then. One coin is a lot. Yes, indeed. I'm sad to admit it, but that Corgi is more useful than me. Stop it! Don't say that! You're very useful. You are very useful. What do plants need? They need CO2. And you produce CO2. And we need plants to survive. So you are useful. Now stop it. Uh, okay, can we spin things? Uh, from mystery unless? I have no idea. I haven't been here in a long time. I mean, we can spin all of those things then. There we go. Let's try to spin them. Wait, before we spin everything, let's check the, the black market. Nothing really. We don't get any Dragunovs. We can get a grenade launcher. Which is cool. But that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. I received three raw meat from one deer. Yes, we are already aware of that. Now deers give us three times the meat. Which is huge. Dude, the season pass is really hard to finish! And expensive, says Yom3. It is expensive to buy it, yes, but it's difficult and hard to finish. It just, it has just begun, like, literally a few hours ago. How do you know that it's difficult? Like, I have no idea if it's difficult. I don't think anybody knows if it's difficult yet. Is it more difficult than the previous, uh, previous season, or is it the same? I don't know. It's really hard to say that it's more difficult, if it's more difficult or easier than before. What about leather? You still get only one leather. Deers give you now. Deer give you one leather and three meat. If nobody buys the pass, maybe they'll put the price down, says Dottie. Or they'll double it again to, uh, to, to, to get more money for those that didn't buy it. I don't know, but probably you are right. Uh, actually, I have no idea how it works for them. Yeah. So we got more caps. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. I did get some ash blanks. I want to get those ash blanks. I'm going to drop the caps. Do we get anything else at the gas station before? Like during whatever update, gas station was kind of changed a little bit. But that was a long time ago, probably a year ago. It's like, did they change anything in the crater? I didn't go there, but I could probably bet that they did nothing.
All right, I just want to get one jackpot to see if anything's different here, but I kind of doubt it. I think everything's still the same. So yeah, my goal is to probably start a new free play account because I need to check out that survivor's path. So yeah, they say the crater is gone. No, it's still there. Don't say that. Imagine if the crater is actually gone. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be talking about that now. Okay, we still get kind of the same loot. Nothing different. Everything's still the same. We got a grenade launcher. Pretty cool. I like it. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, let's bring that to the base then. And yeah, nothing else at the gas station. Understandable. Have a nice day. Can't even open up this box. It's there on the map, but yet I can't open it up. Did they enter something in Bunker Alpha? I don't think so. How can you get a lot of attempts at the wheel at the VAP and only one spin every... And I can do it only one... How can I get a lot of attempts at the wheel? I have VAP, but only get one spin every 23 hours. Says X Liddy. I think... I'm not really sure how it works. But I'm sure if you get the prestige or something, you'll get more spins. It's something like that. Uh, let's go to the bunker alpha as I need to exchange some of the things. So yeah, to those that have just joined the stream and you want to know what happened with the new update, make sure to check out the beginning of the live stream. There you go through every single change already. I've, I've spoken about those changes for a really long time. So I can't keep repeating those changes every three minutes. So make sure to check out the beginning of the live stream. Just go there and I talk about it at the very, very beginning. But basically the farm is better. You get more meat from deer. You get more grass. You get two grass instead of one grass. You get three meat instead of one meat. The farm location is a little bit easier. Sadly, the transport hub is more difficult, which is garbage. And yeah. What? You don't like repeating yourself? Says Ranzare. Uh, I don't mind repeating myself if I have to repeat myself like every half an hour, every hour. But repeating every three minutes is not really... Is not really very exciting. Okay, let's drop all of these mods here. And let's see if we can get a Dragunov blueprint. I doubt it. I'm like almost sure that it's impossible. But why not? For the memes and giggles. You like memes and giggles. I like memes and giggles. Oh, plus we have a weapon crate. I will open it up. Um. Oh my goodness. That's an insane amount of blueprints. Bruh. And we got an M16 here. Okay. We have 27 blueprints there. But hey, that's not it. Let's get all the purple ones first. And then we're going to get all the common mods. So yeah, for those who don't know, I already have all of these blueprints. That's why I'm giving them to the specialist here. Because they're pointless. I'm just double, triple checking. Yeah, I can't use any of these blueprints as I already have them. So, whatever. How many blueprints do we have there? 30. Uh, 40. 45. I need more!
Okay, then I need to just get one more of those and I think we are ready. Finally, my inbox is a lot cleaner. I got rid of garbage. I think I have one more blueprint though that I haven't taken yet. There I go, the comfortable magazine and... Oh, we still have the drone bombardier. Wait, I'm going to keep it. I actually haven't even read that yet. What? Let's read this. There we go. And this stuff goes there. That is it, guys. We can get the blueprints. And let's see if we can... Pull a Dragunov blueprint. Not really. We did get that bone handle. And some of the other basic blueprints. But a not a single Dragunov blueprint. Okay. Probably we can't even get Dragunov blueprints. So there's that. Also, it doesn't really look like we can even buy Dragunovs in the shop. Which, I guess that's a W as well. Like, they added those Dragunovs, but it's not like they are in the shop. And it's not like you can buy a pack of these Dragunovs. I mean, it's only the matter of time. I'm sure you'll be able to buy them sooner or later. But at least right now, you can't buy them. So there's that. And also, no Dragunov blueprints. Like, yeah, I believe that there will be no Dragunov blueprints. Also, there's another thing that I wanted to show you. So now, you can get a blueprint just for the Dragunovs. So we'll have, like, special blueprints made for Dragunovs. Which is kind of interesting. But... Whatever. It do be like that. Okay, let's get more of these. Maybe need to have a Dragunov first. I don't know. Okay, nothing here that I need. Nothing here that I don't have yet. Let's take the rest of them. Whatever. I wanted to exchange these mods for a really long time. So finally, I've done that. Yep. We already have all of them. Well, let's just drop it. Just got scammed here. And one more. And another Glock blueprint. Whatever. Let's drop it here. It's like, did you get the purple machete blueprint yet? Not yet. Not yet. I think the Dragunovs will be found in floppies and raids and maybe Bravo after the season because they want the weapons to be rare now. That is brand new. Huh. I agree. I mean, they should definitely add it. I don't know if they should add it to raids because we haven't gotten any updated raids in a really long time. So I don't think we'll get more stuff in raids, but adding Dragunovs in Bunker Bravo would absolutely be the right move in my opinion. We should get Dragunovs in Bunker Bravo. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. I didn't mean to drag it there. Okay, let's get now the orange tickets and let's get 30 yellow. There you go, that's good. So is the game still lagging? No, the game is not lag anymore. That's great. We are playing now on Ultra and it's working great. Before it was lagging, now it's not. It's no longer stuttering and that's amazing. We should add new locations and tasks. Probably. Thirty yellow? No, no, we need twenty-five yellow. Did the devs say anything about the tungsten? Nope, they didn't say anything about tungsten yet. You mean 30 red? Yeah, I meant 30 red and 25 yellow. If I said something else, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm sure we we'll, won't get anything new. It's not like they've probably even added anything new to bunkers. Because bunker alpha hasn't reset yet, so we will get the old loot. But I mean, I might as well just get it. And yeah, guys, now, once you use the fuel canisters, they go empty, and you'll have empty fuel canisters, and you'll be able to refuel them at the rest stop instead of using empty bottles. Which is a nice change, in my opinion. We get more gas tanks. How many gas tanks? I got three gas tanks today. I got, I got a gas tank here. I got a gas tank here. And... Uh, 
I need a gas tank. I also got a gas tank from the farm location. It's a lot of gas tanks. A lot of gas tanks. First time I was setting up a bike, I wasn't able to get gas canisters for five red crates. What? No gas canisters in red crates? That's crazy. You're just lucky. No, and I'm not saying that something has changed. I'm not saying that, oh, they have increased the drop rate of those gas tanks. I'm just saying that it's pretty cool. There's nothing we can do with those gas tanks, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. So you guys check this out now once we do this. We do get these empty gas canisters. So hopefully I'll get a rest up event as I want to try that out. I mean, I could probably even try it out here. Let's go check this out. We can drop this and we can fuel that up. Do we lose any of it? I mean, I'll keep playing with it. I don't think we lose any fuel though. Nah, it's still the same. Yeah, yeah, it is the same. I don't think we lose anything. Understandable. Have a nice day. We'll just play with that fuel. They say there were... There was more. No, no, it's the same. I kept playing with the fuel for a long time. We don't lose anything. We don't lose anything. There was more. There was more loot. I am going to get more loot. I had to drop some stuff in the chopper. What is the max level for chopper? Maybe somebody can correct me in the chat. Uh, I think it's 74. Level 74, maybe. Maybe level 76. Probably 74. Did they fix the FPS glitch? Yes, now the game does not lag. Oh, there was more fuel. I forgot to get that fuel. I see. 74. So, yeah, I see a lot of people saying in the chat level 74. So, yeah, level 74 then. The zombie with the A card and pistol is back at Bunker Alpha. The zombie with the A card and a pistol. I mean, it probably makes sense. First of all, there's that zombie probably. There we go. There's the zombie. The free pistol. Except I don't really know why it's there in the corner. It should have been at the front. Like a lot of people won't notice it. This is a silly move. They should not have placed it here. It's not very crucial, but maybe it's good that they placed it there. I don't know. Could have been at the front of Bunker. Could have been at the front of the Bunker. Because now... We no longer have those acts. We no longer have the stories. So... Yeah. Do we still... Don't we have the stories? We probably have no stories. As I said, I'll be starting a new account. I'll be checking everything out. Maybe even tomorrow, guys. Maybe even expect a video tomorrow on that new account. I might be like, Sorry, you gotta be kidding me. No, I'm not. And the trolley in the lab. No, we still don't have it. An event. What? Look at this. There is a video now. Zombies from the infected forest can break down your house. You need to upgrade the walls and set up traps to protect yourself from the enemies. What? What? That is cool. But what about my rest up event? I still don't have it. Unbelievable. There's a video for when you build the acid bath and the generator too. Yeah, I think you have a video for everything now. What was changed at the farm? I'm sorry. Zombies have less health. Now Ravagers have only 500 health instead of 2000 health. Savage Giants have 200 health instead of 250 and they do less damage. They do twice less damage. They would do like 40 something, 47, 50 damage. Now they do only 20 something damage. So there's that. It depends on the armor. So, there is that. Oh, yeah, there are lots of zombies here. And the barn is always open. Yeah, now the barn is always open. You need to... The biggest change is now you need a key to open up that barn. And, uh... Yeah. With the key... You can find that key in all the sacks uh, around the farm location. And once you open up the barn, you'll be able to get the blue crate and the chopper parts. 
as always. Except now it'll open for sure. I don't have space for armor. I got two extra sets and nothing fits. Disgusting. Disgusting. And this stuff is already full. Yikes. Disgusting. Well, I want to go and do a raid. How about we go and do it? Okay, then let's grab those and let's go for a raid, ladies and gents. Why wouldn't we do that? And the barn key guaranteed every time. Yes, you need now. Yes, a barn key is guaranteed and you need... You need uh, that barn key to get the blue crate. So you will get a guaranteed blue crate as always, plus the barn key will open up for sure as well. Now the, You'll get the barn key all the time. Yes. Yes. You can now open up everything at the farm, guaranteed. So that's pretty huge in my opinion. Has anything changed at the settlement, guys? Have you been to the settlement? Has anything else changed? Because we have gotten like a decent amount of changes. We haven't gotten an update like this in a really, really long time. Remember, almost every season they'd like release some sort of an update and there would be like little things everywhere. Like you would have to like go through all of the locations to check if they changed something. It was interesting. We haven't gotten an update like this in a long time. It kind of reminded me of the of the good old days in Last and Earth Survival. Where you would have to like kind of figure out some things on your own, what things were changed. So it was kind of cool. No changes in the settlement. Okay. Is this update out on iOS? From what I, from how I understand, yes. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll just drop the armor here. I've got nowhere to store it anyways. I think there are some new resources in the settlement. Nah, you're just capping. Even more resources. We already have too many resources at the settlement, in my opinion. We definitely have too many of them. Way too many of them. One update every six months. That's what it feels like. So we are in the settlement. Everything is probably still the same here. Probably. So there's that. I heard of gravel oak beams and oak frames. I think we had oak frames and oak beams before. Okay, still can't get the daily loot. When I'll be able to get it. Oh, in one hour and 49 minutes. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. I want to go outside. I want to check if we get the rest up event. I want to go there and check out those empty fuel canisters. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Act 3 out, this update, that's it, no more acts. Act 1 and Act 2 is gone, we no longer have any acts. Act 3 is probably never coming out, we don't have any more acts in the game, no more acts. Acts are gone. What is not gone though is our raids. Yes, let's get the stack of armor and four normal hatchets. A stack of armor. Three or four. Did the chopper event change? No, it did not change. I just, I just want to use the empty fuel canisters because now you have empty fuel canisters. So I wanted to use that to steal some fuel. To siphon some fuel, but yeah. Okay, let's go here. How will settlement work without acts? Just as it... Oof, that's actually interesting. 
Probably you can still get some tasks here, though. You get tasks in the survivor's path. And the survivor path introduces you to the new game mode. To the settlement, right? So I'm pretty sure you'll have some tasks to do. So the game will still introduce you this way. Through these tasks here. Through the survivor's path. Like, the house construction. Like, dude, we are gonna start a new account for sure, guys. We're starting from the very beginning. And there's also something interesting that I'd like to show you what developer said, which... I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of... I don't know, even... Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing, but I, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna show it. Um... There goes, I have this thing. So, remember how it all started? Awakening in a world full of danger, now everything's different, blah blah blah. And, uh, yeah, and perhaps the veterans will feel like reliving those old... Wait, whatever, let's just read from the beginning. Now, everything is different. We've completely revised the start of the game. The first appearance in Last on Earth will definitely become a clearer experience for newcomers than it used to be. And perhaps the veterans will feel like reliving those emotions in a new way. If you thought about starting your survivor's path over from the start, today is the perfect time to do it. So they're kind of like encouraging people to to get a new account. And maybe that's cool. But I don't know. I'm I'm going to start a new account because I need content. I don't know if I would suggest you guys to start a new account if you want to do it. But yeah, it's easy to probably lose this account because to start a new account on the same device is going to be very difficult. I you need to log out of this account. You need to get a new email. It is difficult to do that on the phone, but it is probably doable. But yeah, I'm gonna be starting a new free-to-play series tomorrow. Probably, sorry, will there come more free-to-play videos? Yes, tomorrow we're gonna start new free-to-play series with this account. And spend more money. Yeah, of course, that was the reason for the new people to start the, the account for sure. But yeah. You can move your walls without building them. No. You lied to me. You lied to me! I mean, you can... Oh, you can just build level... Level 4 walls just like that now. Okay, I see. You can build the reinforced walls as well without... Without upgrading these walls. You can just build them outright like this. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Kind of cool, I guess. Division box. Rewards from previous seasons. I don't have it. Electronic crates. I don't have it. It's kind of crazy how it shows that it's here, but I can't get it. Have you seen the new places in Island Watchtower? What? There's nothing new there. I did the transport hub this morning after the update, and I didn't see anything different, says Douglas. Maybe. Maybe everything is still the same, I don't know. I saw oil rig and... Uh, I saw oil rig in some swamp north. What? We've had that stuff all the time. Unless you guys are talking about something else. But yeah, also now I've seen some screenshots is that maybe I'll even log into my free to play to show that later. But now if you don't see something on the map, like if you haven't unlocked the watchtower to see a new location, it'll be kind of, there'll be a silhouette. It'll be drawn, it will be drawn on the map. Anyways, it'll be like an outline, an outline of the location. So if you haven't unlocked the dead island yet, you'll see it on the map. It'll be there as if there is a location, but you can't click on it. Okay, where can I get more hatchets? How to unlock the drone without the acts. I'm sure you just have to follow the survivor's path. It'll be everything here. It explains here the engineering networks and whatever. And then the air support. 
Like we have an entire path here about the drones. That's so you unlock it probably. I can't believe that I don't have space for food. Disappointed. Please show the suburbs. Yeah, for some reason the suburbs are not available there. You can't see the suburbs. The flare gun goes there. I think that is it. We are ready. We can go for the first raid of the day. You can get a Juggernaut at the end of the season calendar. Yes. Oh my goodness. The chopper is still full. So we have to delete the walls in the base to build the upgraded version. No, you don't. You can still click on the walls and upgrade them just as before. You can still do that, except now you no longer have to build level 1 walls to build level 5 walls. You can just build level 5 walls outright. Which is still... the price is still considered... ...with the previous walls. Like, for example, if you want to build the reinforced wall, you still need to have... ...pine planks. Wait, you can build basic floors for wood, for one wood, but this thing doesn't require wood. You need 10 planks, though, to build... Wait. It's cheaper! Oh, no, it's not cheaper. It's not cheaper. Forget it. So, yeah, still 10 planks here. We just need more oak and everything. So, yeah, it looks like we just don't need one pine log to build other things. What the fuck? Whoa. We just got a deal here. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse my language. But I was so surprised it was... The language was worth it. The language was justified. I just got a deal at the base doing nothing. I just got a deal that popped in my face. I was very surprised. I got scared. I apologize. <laughs> what can I say? I slip. Bricks are cheaper. Uh, it's cheaper to make bricks? Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is it really cheaper or am I imagining walls? You need 20 of these. 20 stone brick bricks and still 20 stone bricks. Still the same. What is cheaper? Look careful, cheap. I don't see what's cheaper. Five bricks, and here you need 20 bricks. That's 25 bricks. Oh, it's only 20 bricks here. Okay, so you don't need five extra bricks. It is cheaper than I see, guys. Used to be 30 oak. I think it's always been 10 oak, not 30. Maybe it's been 30 oak for a, uh, like a year ago? I don't know. I haven't updated walls to level 3 for a long time. But yeah, well, whatever. Sorry, it was 20 planks for level 2 walls. That's actually... That might be true. I think I might confirm that it was 20 planks. Now it's only 10. Was it 20 planks? I know it's been a long time. In any case, if the walls are cheaper, that's great. I mean, it doesn't look like they're more expensive. And that's all what matters. Looks like walls are cheaper. And that is cool. I upgraded it yesterday. It was 10. Okay, see, so yeah, it was 10, then nothing changed. It's all the same. Check the north of the quarry, two new places. Uh, I don't think we got anything new, but I'll check it out. It's a W update, says so Orin Ishi. Absolutely, guys. I do believe it's a W update. Did you try the farm yet? Yes, I have already cleared the farm. 
So yeah, there's nothing new here, but if you don't have your towers assembled here, you will see the outlines of this tower, of this thing, and of the oil rig. But yeah, once you assemble this stuff, you'll see it. I think maybe the same thing works with the police department. Like, if you don't go to this Eastern Watchtower, if you don't unlock it, you'll be able to see the police department that it's there. But you just won't be able to go there. It'll be like kind of grayed out. Okay, let's go on YouTube's little quick, real quick, and let's do some research. LDE raid player 8426. So, guys, what do you think so far of this update? Your opinion. We had the poll running here for a while now. Uh, we have 2,000 people that have voted, 2,100 people, and 50% of you said that you haven't checked it out yet. 39% of you said that you like this update, and 10% of you said that you don't like this update. So. So far, majority of people like this update, I guess. Okay, this raid. It's a pretty big base. Okay. Let's go for it then. I'm ready. Do I have any C4s though? I do have one C4. I'm ready to go and raid it. Let's see, mid update, no new location. Not everything is supposed to be about a new location. I see, guys, what you mean. But I think it's one of the better updates that we've gotten, maybe. Is it one of the better updates? They have finally improved the farm location, which is great. I think they should have done that a long time ago. Personally, I like this update. It's not that bad. I have another reason to start a new account. I mean... Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's open it up. Oh no, actually I need to just drop a C4 here. Probably that's what I'll do. But yeah, this update focuses heavily on the new players and uh, I want to start a new account and check it out. Absolutely. That's what we're, we're gonna be doing. Optimizing FPS is already a good update. Yeah, we have more FPS now. It doesn't lag. So it's it's good. Some food. Where on earth am I gonna store that? They might drop another update on the suburbs later. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. As they said in this post over here, at the very bottom, uh, they said that uh, this time the update consisted of planned and necessary changes that will affect the newcomers first and foremost. The wishes of the game's veterans will be implemented in the following updates. So we will get more updates for the veterans, for the higher level players. But currently, now they focus on the new players, which is great. I also think it's important as the new players haven't gotten a new update in a long time. And we need to, to get some updates for new players. I like that. Oh no, there's one chest here. And that's it. What did they do to the farm? It's easier to clear now. Zombies have less health and they do less... I don't think they do less damage. Yeah, they some of them do less damage. They, yeah, they do less damage. The Savage Eye, instead of doing like 40-something damage, does only 20-something. It depends on your armor. From 47, I think it does 22 or 21 damage. Also, the Ravager now has 500 health instead of 2k health. Okay. That's it. I mean, we could use one more C4. Do I want to use it, though? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should... Whatever, let's use it. We are here, guys. We have gathered for this raid, so let's do it. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> the C4 wasted! Absolutely wasted. When are you going to stream 99 Waves? I don't know when. Soon-ish. So many ungrateful people. Let's just be thankful they're still working on the game six years later, says Douglas Porter. Understandable. I mean, everybody has their own opinion. I mean, 
Yeah, we all wished for better updates like years ago. We constantly wanted something new. We constantly wanted something better. We never had it. So I think people have a reason to be upset. And yeah. Is this one of the times that they should actually be upset? I don't know. I think everybody has the right to do whatever they want to do. But yeah, in my, personally, I believe that this was a W update. The season pass is more expensive, so it is... It is lame, to say the least. So I'm not saying it's perfect. Wait. Why on earth do I have more slots here, but I can't open them? Can I drop there a bigger box? How to get steel rooms fast? You don't. You don't get them fast. Yeah, I'm running out of space. But my opinion is the only one that matters, says Douglas. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Guys, all of you are wrong, only I am right. If you guys have different opinions, that is it. You are wrong. So it's not a perfect update by no means, but at the same time, nothing is perfect. Except me, I'm perfect. And you know it. And you guys, you're also perfect. Yeah, we're all perfect. But updates can't be perfect. In any case, I'm happy with what we got here. We could have gotten nothing. As uh, Douglas pointed out, the game's been out for six years. They could just stop developing it altogether. I'm glad to see that they're still working on it. We all would like to see more, right? Even if they keep giving us like updates every week, people would complain that, hey, there are too many updates and they're bad. There will always be someone complaining about something. And I'm not saying the game is perfect. We obviously need more updates. Absolutely. We still don't have the bunker Charlie. We still don't have the helicopter. We still don't have lots of other things. We still need some lots of awesome quality of life improvements in the game. Absolutely. But I'm glad to see that the developers are still at least working on it. So that's my... Five cents. The update is not perfect, but... Considering what we what we kept getting for a long time, considering that we got we get almost nothing now, it's better than nothing. That's my those are my thoughts. Last on Earth survival is holding itself by like like by these two pinkies at this point. So I'm glad to get anything. And this time it wasn't that a bad, it wasn't a bad update. Like, I haven't even seen everything yet. Like, the biggest changes are for the newcomers. And tomorrow I'm going to start a new series where we check out this, this survivor's path thing. So I'm sure we'll get some new tasks. I'm sure some things are going to be different. And yeah, I'm excited to check it out as we will get awesome rewards here. We'll get new tasks. And yeah, I always want to check out the newcomer's experience. I'm sure they made the acid bath smaller. Has it always been this small or did they make it smaller? I'm almost positive it's smaller. I can't store anything here. Is the metal cutter in the game? Nope, it's not in the game. Yeah, it is different, very different, dude. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out the beginning of the game tomorrow, guys. So no worries. So we haven't even... So we basically check out, like, maybe 30%, 40% of the update. Because the main update is the Survivor's Guide. And if you have already played through the Survivor's Guide, if you have played through Act 2, you can't do anything here. So yeah, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be checking out everything here. It's always been that small. Oh, yeah, I thought it's bigger. It's always that small. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of space to store food and healing items and everything else. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes. Well, in any case, Farm gets the ultimate W. The meat and grass also gets W. I hope they nerf bunker. I hope they nerf bunker alpha frenzy giants. Other than that, I hope they won't touch it. 
Yeah, I doubt that they will nerf Frenzy Giants. If they nerf Frenzy Giants, they will remove the wall trick from the game. Just as they done it at the farm. They have nerfed the wall tricks at the farm. They shouldn't touch Alpha. Yeah, they shouldn't go... They shouldn't touch Alpha for sure. Bunker Alpha is good. <sighs> How do I get more space? We have these pickaxes. I have so many pickaxes in the inbox. I never use them anyway, so I might as well just get more space that way. There we go. Genius. An absolute genius. You forgot to put Waltrick on your list. It's fine. It's it's all right. We could add a. Uh, there we go. Wall. Farm wall. Trick nerf. There we go. That's pretty bad. Okay, this is a. That's what it'll be. It'll be easier and less confusing. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So these are the positive updates, and these are the negative changes. So that's it. That's from what I've seen, at least for now. And there we go. Massive W. I'm already going to say Massive W. Uh, another thing. Wait here. Acts are gone. But we have a better newcomer experience. There we go. That's it, guys. So this is probably... The entire update kind of summarized, right? The the positives and the negatives of the update. Unless I am wrong or something. A new new Dragunov, right? Uh, new new weapon uh, Dragunov. Which I guess it's a it's a positive. I mean, we could say also negative that it's not that common, but I mean, whatever. Let's not be too greedy. It's fine. Plus the bolts. You can craft bolts now, but is it really an update? Does it really matter? It's gonna be the... You can craft bolts. Rmao. Let's say that's the thing. It's in the middle, guys. <laughs> that's the other change. So yeah, it's it's basically to those that are curious to see all the changes. Is there anything else? Oh, the... The building menu... Is better. Is a lot better. There we go. I agree with the list for the most part. I mean, what else you can add? What else you can change here? Um, I would like to hear that. Basement cool. I didn't go to... I tried to go to the basement, but it's not reset for me. It was reset, but I couldn't go there. It kind of lagged for me. I couldn't do anything there. So I'm not sure about the basement yet. So yeah, guys, those are the new changes. Is there anything else? Do you guys have anything else to add? I mean, I will add that with the plus, whatever, guys. You can craft new bolts. You can craft bolts. <laughs> lol. That's it. I'll just add that lol. If they added those bolts, maybe people needed those bolts. Factory? I don't think they've done anything at the factory. Gas stations. Mm, that's cool. Uh, we have empty gas canisters now. Cool. Is there anything else? How to craft bolts. Oh, yeah, for those who haven't seen it, I can show you guys. You can craft bolts now at the workbench. They say continue tomorrow. I mean, we have already probably done everything. I don't know what else I can add there. But yeah, you can craft bolts to the workbench. With one aluminum plate, you can get two bolts. So yeah. So there is that, guys. Do you have anything else to add to this list? Or something that I haven't added. Because I think so far it's pretty decent. Not worth it to craft it. I have over 600 bolts in the settlement. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's worth it to craft it. But maybe some people need it. Maybe the beginners will need that stuff. But beginners actually need aluminum plates. Like, you'll absolutely need aluminum plates instead of bolts. So I don't really know who will be crafting that stuff. I don't see that it's useful. It 
So I don't even know like It's just you can craft bolts That's it. It's it's just in the middle You can craft bolts Expensive. Still expensive. But maybe if you need like two bolts for something and you have that stuff, it's still expensive. But even if they were cheap, like it doesn't matter. Like even if that stuff was cheap, it still makes sense. You can craft bolts that say. A random puppy drop barn. Okay, we already have the better farm location. It's like everything inside of that farm location. So yeah, that's it. I think those are all the changes. So if you need those changes, guys, you can screenshot them, share them with whoever, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I think that is pretty much it. Obviously, nothing is detailed here. Like, what's better at the farm location? It's just, it's better. But that's it. So I think we'll be wrapping it up tomorrow, guys. Expect a, a new video. I'll have a new series on Last and Earth Survival. We will be checking out everything new inside of the Survivor's Path thing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, see you later, alligators. See you tomorrow with another video. And yeah, probably those will be like some sort of new series. Will I lose my previous free-to-play account? I don't know, maybe we'll continue on that other free-to-play account. Maybe we'll start the new free-to-play account. It depends. It, 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 it depends. All I know is... That tomorrow there will be a new series. So yeah, guys. See you later. See you, see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining here. Thanks for smashing all the likes. If you haven't smashed it yet, it's your time to smash it. And see you guys tomorrow with new series. New free-to-play account because it's it's going to be huge. We've got a new updates for newcomers and we'll check it out. So yeah, take care later. Uh, take care, alligators. And uh, peace out, everybody. Take care. And see you later, guys. Shout out to all of you. Thanks for being here. See you later. Take care. See ya. Overall, great update. I don't know why I'm stretching the outro for so long. Overall, I think it's a great update. It's nice, and uh, I have nothing to complain about. See you later. Besides the season pass, it shouldn't have been that expensive. But